Okay, so in a previous video, in a previous video, we set the body tag to be a certain height. Body tag incidentally should go up here. Now, before we go further, I want to share with you a very, very important tag. See, an asterisk tag, the universal tag that'll affect the entire site because right now some of our text has spacing and there's padding up in here that I want to get rid of. So I can do that very simply by coming down here to new CSS rule and we're going to pick compound which is already selected and we're going to put in the universal wildcard selector tag which is the asterisk symbol and hit OK. And based on these choices category box box we're going to set the padding to zero and the margin space to zero. What that's going to do it's going to get rid of all the extra space that we had inside of our content. Now, in this particular case, I have multiple paragraphs here. So I do want to have, incidentally, this needs to go to the top. I do want to have space between my paragraphs. So how can I do that? Well, in order to affect the tag, I need to select the tag. I'm going to select the P for paragraph tag, and I'm going to create a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. In order to affect the tag, you got to select the tag. And we're going to make this less specific. We're simply going to put a rule for the P for paragraph tag and hit OK. Then, based on these choices, box category, at the bottom of the margin, not the top, not the left, not the right, deselect same for all. At the bottom of the margin, we're going to make this 1.7 M spaces. So let's understand what's going to happen here. If you were to put in, say, 15 pixels of space, it's going to stay at 15 pixels. Now I have a flexible height space after the paragraph because if my body copy was 10 and an M equals 10, 1.7 M is 17. So if my body copy was 10 pixels, this would be a 17 pixel bottom margin. So this is a good unit of measurement to use for bottom margin with a paragraph. And I'm going to hit OK. Now I have space at the bottom of my paragraph. How cool is that? That's the way it should be. Make a change, save a change. Okay. Now we don't have a rule for the H1 tag. Incidentally, body should go right there. So let's create a rule for the H1 tag. How would I do that? In order to affect the tag, I need to select the tag. I put my cursor here and I click right there. And I say new CSS rule. Now I don't need to have it specific for header. I'm going to say less specific. I want to create a rule for the entire site. And I hit OK. So if my body copy was 1 M, I want my header tags to be 60% bigger. So I can make my header tag 1.6 M. Therefore, it's going to be 60% bigger. Okay, And I can make my H2 tags, select the tag. In order to affect the tag, I need to select the tag. I can make my H2 tag 20% smaller or 1.4. So I'm going to say H2 tag is going to be 1.4 EM. Boom. So now it's slightly smaller. But it's bigger than the P for paragraph, which should go up here. So therefore, if I was to change P for paragraph, I'm sorry, the body tag, rather. If I was to change the body tag, double click, and I made this like, I don't know, let's make this point. 0.75 M's, then it's going to make everything else proportionately smaller because that's what I told it to do. Okay, so we're going to just leave that, cancel that for a second and undo. Okay, so it's very simple setup here. Okay, now I want to share with you a super, super powerful technique you're not going to find other places. In fact, what I've shared with you in these subsequent, these three videos so far four videos, you're not going to find any place else. Most other videos, go check out lynda.com. Go check out Total Training. They will torture you with code. Dreamy writes code for you. Why do you want to sit there and pound out code? That's what this program does. I teach you these simple, simple ways. I build six-figure websites. I built this site back in February of this year for $117,000, and I didn't use any. Well, I used a little bit of code for the JavaScripting, but in general, zero to no code.
Okay, so it's not necessary to know and write code. Now here's a super, super, super cool technique here. What I want to do, I want the section tag to have the same width as my header tag, and I want the aside tag to have the same properties of my nav tag. Well, how can I possibly do that? Well, I could select the tag and give it the same properties, but I don't have to reinvent the wheel here because I have a computer and I have software. So what we're going to do here is take the article tag. I'm going to take the word art section rather. Double click section. Copy it. I don't like to reinvent the wheel. I'm going to copy the word section. I'm going to click header. Control click Macintosh. Right click Windows and duplicate this. And we're going to paste. Now which was once the header tag rule is now going to be the section tag. Therefore it follows the same rules. How? cool is that section to go underneath nav now I'm going to do the same thing for the aside tag I'm going to double click aside copy go to the nav tag again control key pop up menu duplicate that and paste simple 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 you're not going to find these techniques other places guys I'm a total master at this if there's a quicker easier better faster easier way I know it's easy twice, maybe it's easy to five times. Now it has the same set of rules. Simple, 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 simple. It could not be that simple. It could not be simpler than that. Okay, so this, if you thought that this was simple to set this up, it really is this simple. Now what I highly suggest you do, this is just the icing on the cake. This is just a small sample of how easy I make my courses. So Get your checkbook out, spend $49, and get my $129 course on Udemy for only $49. I'll put a coupon code for you to do that. If you value what I'm practicing, value what I'm teaching, you'll value yourself by signing up for my classes, guys. This is how I earn a living. So support me. I support you. So I make this very, very simple very, very enjoyable. So sign up for my classes. I will talk to you soon. Have a good day.